हेलो एवरीवन टुडेज क्लास विल टेक चैप्टर फिफ्थ फॉर क्लास एट्थ द समिट विद इन द चैप्टर इज कंपोज बाय मेजर एच पी एस अहलूवालिया हु इज ही सो मिस्टर एच पी एस अहलूवालिया वॉज अ मेंबर ऑफ द फर्स्ट सक्सेसफुल इंडियन एक्सपेडिशन टू माउंट एवरेस्ट एंड दिस इज द हिस्टोरिकल टाइम नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फाइव एंड विल कम्प्लीट दिस इन टू वीडियोज सो मेजर एच पी एस अहलूवालिया वॉज अ मेंबर ऑफ द फर्स्ट सक्सेसफुल इंडियन एक्सपेडिशन टू माउंट एवरेस्ट इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फाइव एंड हाउ डिड ही फील वेन ही स्टूड ऑन द हाइएस्ट पीक इन द वर्ल्ड एंड वॉट इज द हाइएस्ट पीक इन द वर्ल्ड यू एवरी वन नो दैट so we'll hear it from him his experiences about his feelings standing on the highest peak of the world so he says that of all the emotions means when he stood there he he actually was victorious over mount everest when he had victory over mount everest definitely it makes the person pride so when he was at the top he says that there are many emotions that surged through him so there was one emotion very prominent and that was the feeling of humility and humility means humbleness what is that humbleness means when you are in front of such a huge mountain definitely you feel yourself a very small in front of such huge mountain so that's why he says that it was human humility the physical in me seemed to say thank god it's all over means he it was two kind of victory one physical one mental so when the physical in him said thank god the journey was all over and safe however instead of being jubilant there was a tinge of sadness but in place of jubilant means in place of being very happy because you have completed a journey through highest mountain peak he says in place of this he was little sad why he may be sad was it because i had already done the ultimate in climbing and there would be nothing to climb and all roads hereafter would lead down he means to say that was it because this that he has covered such a huge mountain and now there is nothing to climb upon because all the roads all the paths you feel are actually lower down lower than the place you are but like by climbing the summit of everest you are overwhelmed by a deep sense of joy and thankfulness so writer says that by climbing the everest you actually are filled with a feeling and that is of deep sense of joy and thankfulness joy why joy joy means you covered such a huge mountain that's why there is a sense of joy and thankfulness means thankfulness to god that you completed this expedition very successfully and in a safe manner there is no casualties done that's why the sense of thankfulness to god it is a joy which lasts a lifetime and you carry this experience for all through your life that once you completed your victorious journey over mount everest so that's why he says that you will carry this experience lifelong with you the experience changes you completely why did he say the experience of covering mountain changes you completely why the man who has been to the mountains is never the same again means after completing such a journey over mountain you will completely change how because he himself said in beginning that after completing such a mountain big mountain journey you feel yourself small creature in front of such big himalaya that's why you you he says that you will not leave the same again you become humble 
you realize the humbleness of yourself and that's why he says that it would it would change you a lot like he says uh, he was both happy and sad and climbing mountain gives you a deep sense of joy and the experience will change you completely because it was a conquest of a high mountain but the writer felt that climbing or getting over the summit of the mind was no less difficult that's why he says in this line i cannot help remarking about other summit the summit of the mind there is other summit also there is not only one summit that is physical covering a mount everest is only a physical experience but he says that no still you feel sad because you feel that whatever you have done is nothing in front of climbing a mountain and that is a mountain in your inner heart so he says even when getting down from the summit once the physical exhaustion had gone i began asking myself the question why i had climbed everest so it's a very strange kind of experience the writer shares with us he says that when he is complete when he got down from the summit mount everest his complete tiredness exhaustion had gone so he started asking himself uh, why he must have climbed everest isn't it a str- strange question and he asked himself why did the act of reaching the summit have such a hold on his imagination it was already a thing of the past because that is a matter of past now and something done yesterday it seems that something you have done just in past then why all these things still are in his mind so with every passing day it would become more remote means more old more past and then what would remain what would remain out of that journey would you would my memories fade away slowly away and he is in doubt he is in fear that his memories will be fade away and that he says to himself that it would fade with the passing of the time and then he questions himself as to why people wish to climb high mountains after you know bearing all these difficulties because after some time what happens with you 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 feel like you have forgotten everything and there is no fresh memories in your mind it goes on away uh, as the time passes and he asked this question to himself or to many and then finally he tells us all these thoughts lead me to question myself as to why people climb mountains because after some time you earned such good experience and it faded away gradually so what is the ultimate outcome of this it is not easy to answer the question the simplest answer would be as simply other people say because it is there some say that because himalaya is there and we have a curiosity to go and climb over there some people believe in this some people believe that because it is difficult and everyone want to do something that is very tough task that no other people can do everyone has a tendency to do such a tough task that not all common people can do so for this reason people climb mount everest man takes delight in overcoming obstacles this can be a reason some people's opinion is that a man take great pleasure in triumphing over or in overcoming overcoming means vijay prapt karna overcoming obstacles means hurdles problems that's why people climb mount everest and a climb to a summit means endurance a climbing to a summit is not only climbing it is a very good examination of your endurance endurance means your resistance can you bear such kind of problem there you feel you know tough to take breath in you you bear the cold weather there so this all and persistence and will power so climbing checks your endurance your power to bear your resistance can you resist that much cold and your will power because some people uh, first start the journey then turn away back they do not go there so it means their will power 
is not that much strong. So the climbing is all means a mingle of all these. The demonstration of these physical qualities is not no doubt exhilarating as it was for him also. So the writer says that the demonstration means what is Pradarshan karna. To show the showcase of all these physical qualities. Uh, what are those physical qualities? Endurance, persistence and willpower. It is no doubt exhilarating. And exhilarating means that it is very exciting. When you show your strength in these three, four ways, it is a very good experience of showing it. And that is very exciting. None, everyone can do this. So then, so he says simply like it is for others, it was a very exhilarating experience for me. Now he says, I have a more personal answer to the question. But he says that he has some another answer for this question. The earlier answer I read in front of you were actually general public's opinion. So from his childhood, he says that he had been attracted to mountains. He had a very inborn desire in him to go and cover that mountain. And I had been miserable, lost when away from mountains in the plains. When he was in plains, he was lost there and he would lost with the thoughts looking at mountain and covering, going there. He had always an attraction for mountain or climbing the mountain and he missed mountains while he was away from them. That's why he says this line. And this beauty and grandeur of mountains actually presents a challenge in front of him that he should go to that mountain. He should see the grandeur, the beauty of that mountains. And he says one very specific line here in your book. You can see that. What is that? I believe that Mountains are a means of communion with God. If you want to be nearby God, this is the best way. The way mountains actually are a ode of home of peace, silence. So that's why he calls that. That is a very good way to go nearby and close to God. And another line is very exciting here. This is a very good description that mountains are nature at its best. If you want to see nature in its best form, you should see mountain. And their beauties, their majestic pose actually set a challenge in front of you. You want to accept that challenge of climbing mountain because of its majestic panoramic view. And one more heavy line he says, that if you want the closeness with God, you need to go to mountain. You must have heard about people, they go to Himalaya and have some, you know, sacred sitting there for a while. So this is all about. So once, now he says, once having granted this, the question remains, why Everest? When you got the answer for this question, that why people go to mountains, then the question comes, then all mountains are there, then why only Everest? And the answer is, because it is highest, the mightiest and has defied many previous attempts. Why people want to, come, uh, want to climb mount? Because it is highest than all, it is mightiest than all and it has defeated, defied Defeated means, defied means defeated. Many previous attempts. It had failed many previous attempts of people. That's why people being a nature of being victorious, people want to climb Mount Everest only. And it takes the last ounce of one's energy. And because the second reason that climbing Mount Everest is not a child's play, because it even takes even a single speck of energy of human being. When you cover it, you are totally exhausted, totally tired and even we risk our life while climbing this mountain. That's why he says that it is mightiest and people want to 
want to win over this mightiest rock. It is a brutal struggle with rock and ice. He says that it's a kind of very tough, kind of brutal means brutal means anything that can cause that is cruel and that can cause your life. So it's none less than struggle with a rock and ice. It's a kind of struggle that can take your life. Once taken up, it cannot be given up halfway. And when you start climbing up, you cannot stop yourself climbing because that will give you otherwise a sense of defeat. So you do not give up the idea of climbing mountain even if it is at the cost of the risk of your life. The passage back is as difficult as the passage upward and secondly he describes the um, expedition that there is not only the climbing mountain is the Herculean task, it is not only the difficult task but when you will have complete your expedition you will hoist your flag over that mountain and when you come back from that height this is equally difficult and then when the summit is climbed there is the exhilaration the joy of having done something and the poet the writer describes that when the summit is complete when you completely do your task of climbing the mountain then there is a sense of exhilaration then he expresses his pleasure over there that when he did this when he covered the height of the mount everest then there was sense of exhilaration means excitement the joy of having done something that is really not very common that is extraordinary that none everyone can do the sense of battle and the completion of the journey gives you a sense a feeling of a battle that you have fought and you have won also you have a you have had a victory over it and there's a feeling of victory and happiness when you will have complete your expedition of height of mount everest now glimpsing a peak in the distance i get transported to another world now he says glimpsing means watching a peak in the distance in a far distance you saw a peak and watching it you were actually transported to another world how i experience a change within myself means himself he says that after doing it and glimpsing on another distance he felt a sense of some change in him you people may be thinking sir why there was a change in him he completed the summit he done it and he was looking to glimpsing to other mountain rocks again one after another there are rocks after rocks a complete horizon is like this only and you feel oh there are more mountains like this so this all sense then why he changed here and he says what was that change it's very important line and that change was if we can call it only mystical he says this is mystical means spiritual you cannot express it that way but still he says that it is spiritual by its beauty aloofness aloofness means being at a distance from one rock so when you see from that height and this viewing is again with a very rare kind of experience that is mystical means spiritual specific wahan ka jo experience ho woh specific hota hai none can be explained it when you have not done it one cannot explain it to you or you cannot perceive the gravity of the sense so it was a uh, feeling of aloofness being at a distance within some view and might might means hota hai strength and rigidness rigidness that sense you see the rocks those are up and downs 
so all these rough and up and down terrains means lands are rigidness that ruggedness we call it and the difficulties encountered on the way the peak draws you to it means that peak brings you to that place where you see the up and down the aloofness the toughness of such rocks now he says and as everest did as means like all other rocks everest has also such qualities being tough being might keeping you aloof in a distance and being a difficult rock and it is a challenge that it is difficult to resist resist means you cannot stop you cannot counter it so this is not that much easy to resist the height or the weather conditions of such a top mount and that is like mount everest so it is a kind of challenge that is not that much easy to resist i called it earlier one word more we call it endurance because when you when you go in height you feel there are certain problems you feel there shortage of oxygen and leading to uh, less patience sometime you feel like going back but again there is a sense that you should not go back without winning so all these things goes in their mind so resistance you you fight with cold you fight with that high altitude problems so all these are not that much easy so he talks about these experience so we'll take this much in first part in the second part of video we'll complete this chapter and we'll discuss some questions i hope you must have enjoyed this much portion of explanation please do it on your own up to this and we'll enjoy reading it in next video thank you